welders, and electrical technicians. An Alabama bill named after a mobile quadriplegic will not be voted on by state legislators. 20-year-old Nick Dupree is still fighting his crusade, but the bill to change a Medicaid law is dead. And just last night, because the law wasn't changed, a young man in Baldwin County had his nurse leave his side in the middle of the night. NBC 15's Bruce Millsworth has the story. Today is Patrick Morris's 21st birthday. I'm just glad to be here. Glad to be alive? Yeah. Uh -huh. Which is no small feat with his form of muscular dystrophy. All I have is just a little bit of movement in my finger. Yeah. Turning 21 should be cause for celebration, but this family is not in a festive mood. We have so much more on our minds other than cake and ice cream and friends and parties. Last night, Patrick's nurse left in the middle of her 12-hour shift, and she won't be coming back. Because of, his, of the fact that he turned 21 at midnight. Was out the door. Was out the door. No questions asked. Folks like Patrick require 24-hour care. Medicaid pays for their nurse at home until they turn 21. After that, the state agency only pays for care in an out-of-state nursing home. My husband and I are not even considering that as an option. 20-year-old Nick Dupree faces the same fate next February. Earlier this year, he testified in front of a Senate committee supporting a bill introduced by Theodore's George Callahan. The bill would stop Medicaid from cutting off home nursing care just because a patient turns a day older. <laughs> Medicaid insisted the bill was too expensive. I just want them to think about what it would be like if they had, if they were seeing the shoes on me, and if they had to go through what I go through. We are just really concerned about how we're going to be able to continue to take care of him. Considering she yeah. has epilepsy yeah. and Patrick's dad is on disability with a back injury. I know what they really care about me. And all he cares about is keeping his family together. For his 21st birthday, that's the only gift Patrick is asking for. Because I, I wouldn't want to be away from him. Patrick's dad tells me he had difficulty with his son's trach earlier this week. He says if the nurse wasn't there, he's sure Patrick would now be dead. Senator Callahan says he'll reintroduce a different form of Nick's bill next year. For more on Nick's crusade, go to our website, WPMI.com. You'll find more information on this on the site. Peter? All right, thanks a lot, Bruce. The once cramped 911 center from Mobile County. Now